Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Grimm's Garage. And today we're looking at new 2023 Matchbox releases. Unfortunately, I wasn't fresh to the unboxing, so I got what I could. Uh, I did grab some great stuff that I'm looking forward to. We have five loose ones. I'm sorry, not loose, but five single-carded and two five-packs. We're going to start off today with the loose ones, and then we'll go on to the five-packs. I have chosen three models from the five-packs to showcase what other models I have. So, first off today, we have the Nissan Van. I think this is the third one in my collection. I'm not exactly sure how many there are in total. By the way, there's the new logo that everybody's going to have to get used to on this New Year's Matchboxes. Let's get this guy open. This one labeled as 71 of 100. Harbor Ferry Transport. Shore to shore. Okay. Very nice addition to my collection. Third one of those. Please excuse the bandage. I had a bit of an incident earlier today. Nothing serious. Next, we have the 2021 Ford Bronco in the National Parks theme. I know there's a lot of people out there trying to get all the National Parks vehicles. I am not one of them. I just, by happenstance, like a lot of the models that they're putting that theme on. US 402 Eco Management Nice front tempo Nice little model I don't usually like collecting the newer models but I love my Broncos, so that's what we're going with. And next we have the Road Hauler. Another favorite of mine. Um, I'll be honest with you, though. I'm not really digging the colorization on this one. Um, it, it, here in the U.S., it just... The scream is very holidays, Christmassy. I know there are many red and green associations other than the holidays, but for me personally here in the States, this just looks like a Christmas, Christmas tractor. I mean, I want it anyway because I like the model, but I'm not too happy about the colors. Gotta go with something, I guess, but. Yeesh. Might as well put white tires on this and edit it to the holiday collection. We have 95 Nissan hard body. And although I am here in the United States, I don't usually like the red, white, and blue motif. Not to be unpatriotic, it just, I personally don't like those color combinations. And I'm having to be 
around it a lot. It just gets a bit tiring, to be honest with you. So we got a bit of a tempo error there in the hood ornament is smeared up on the hood. Cycle Runner. By the way, I do have any models that I bought for my collection. I've got plenty of at least one or two more, if not like 10, 20 more. I just chose three models for today to show comparisons of other models. Just want to make that video a little short and honest um, going by accessibility what's it's very close and near to me and here pardon we have the MBX cycle trailer I'm sure most of us are familiar with big fan of and we all know there's variants of these unfortunately I was only able to find one today which seems to be the variant which has the uh, chopper type motorcycle on it Usually, if you can see past this price tag, it's usually a Harley, Harley Davidson style motorcycle on there. So there'll be another one I have to keep my eye out on for. And another thing I'm going to have to keep my eye out on is I noticed the color thing matching on these, and this has a hitch on it, and it's called the Cycle Runner. So I'm going to have to go back through and look up if the previous releases of these had an exact matching truck. I'm assuming, but I never noticed that before. Th that's great. That's gorgeous. I love accessories. It's like I just put together a little hitch and haul set. Very cool. Onto the five packs. I'll save that one for last because that's my favorite. And this one, Bleen. Blue Highways 3. New for 2023. 70 years logo, which we'll all get used to seeing on all the new stuff this coming year. like normal I only like two or three out of each of these packs I only like two out of each of these packs the other three of each will be put into a fresh bag for trade so I will show you the trades first here we have a 69 Camaro SS 396 in gold white SS stripes Camaro lovers, I guess this is pretty cool. I'm not a Camaro fan myself. But as I usually say, to each their own. It's a little unusual. It's like the driver's side seat has been cut short to accommodate the steering wheel. At first, I would have assumed it was just pulled back further than the passenger side, but uh, the backs are in the same position. Hmm. All right. Next, what do we got here? 2015 Mazda MX-5 Fiesta. Not a fan at all. Nice tempo on the front, though. That almost looks like a Pixar car. I 
nice rims on that one. Nice rear tempo as well. Tempos are getting hyper-realistic lately. Convertible seems to be the theme of this packing, although it wasn't exactly stated as such. What do we got here? Dodge Viper RT10. Not a Viper fan, so... Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm liking the finishing. I'm liking the whole colorization of this. This is pretty, pretty sharp. Very nice little vehicle. That'll well, unfortunately be added to my trade pile. And down to the last two keeping it for myself we have what is this international scout 4x4 being a I don't know I wouldn't say baby blue somewhere a little darker than baby blue is it say Pacific Pacific Northwest Matchbox, apparently is what that says. Yeah, darling little Baja truck. And the last one of this first five pack. Is the Polaris Slingshot. This being the third one that I own. It's being a nice deep purple with black stripes, silver accent. I'm liking those rims. And this being one of three I chose to showcase, I have two other versions. Here is a black and red one from last year, which I think, if in real life, if I were to own one, it'd probably be this colorization. And I also have this fluorescent green and black with silver, which to me personally is my favorite model toy-wise. This looks brilliant with, unfortunately, I do have a chip there that was a factory error. I opened it with that chip already on there. So maybe I can find a better one eventually. But yeah, I'm really liking the brilliant fluorescent green with black. It's kind of Xbox, Xbox 360-ish theme. Video game console. But, um... Yeah, I'm really digging those colors. It just it's a it's a bit much if it was in real life. That's all I'm saying. I'll put these over here. And the last matchbox five pack. Autobahn Express four. two models in here I like so we will go over the tradables first we have a 2016 Alfa Romero I'm sorry I don't know that word Glulia 2019 on that gold I'm not a fan of gold but I guess it works on this vehicle sharp tempo on that front grille European license plate. Very nice. Nice run, too. Stretch color.
colorization on the rim too. It's not exactly. It's not perfectly silver. It's like a, I don't know how to say it. Like a, a tarnished, tarnished silver, tarnished silver. I'm actually really liking the colorization of that. Right, next, what do we got here? 2019 Audi TT RS. A bit of a packaging rub. No, that'll rub out. Flat black. Pretty sharp tempo on the headlights. Those always look very nice. Nice, decent, but simple rims. And decent tempo on the rear as well. Not a bad, sharp looking car. And 69 BMW from 2002. No, I haven't seen any of these in states, United States. Um, where are these being released? Are they just not popular in my area? But uh, I, I don't recall ever seeing these in person. But uh, I'm liking the color. It is a favorite color of mine. It's like a Phelan blue or a metallic baby blue I do like that blue Although I'm not much of a fan of blue I think this is my favorite blue very cool alright and down to the last two models which I have an affection for so we will Look at the other ones I have available. This first one being the 62 Volkswagen Beetle. It's uh, German police. White and green with silver accent. And with the usual in this model, there is the hitch. It's always very nice. Um, Tyrone of Building the Ultimate Matchbox Collection and other channels. He has pre he has beat me this time. Sometimes I beat I beat him here in the states, but I beat him this time. Or I'm sorry, <laughs> he beat me on this one, getting these five packs. Anyway. Here are the other models I have of that. Here's a, I don't know, not quite teal. It's a deep aquatic green, like a seafoam green. A silver accent. I also have this lighter green color with the differently painted top. The other ones have a matching color. Maybe this is more, no, maybe this is like a vintage mint green. I'm liking the chrome base on this. And the last one I have is a Spongebob themed one from Nickelodeon with the yellow glass. Those are the Beatles for today. On to the last model for today. Last but not least, because it is a wagon. I'm a sucker for a wagon, so this is probably my favorite model for today. Other than the fact that the Nissan truck and the hauler go together, those as a pair are probably my favorite for the day. But individually, it's this, even though I don't like brass bronze color, gold colors, I love my wagons regardless. And the color is accurate and very reminiscent of the times. It's being a 1980 Mercedes-Benz W123 wagon. 
the tan interior. Oh yeah, never really understood what that was. It looks like there is a backpack in this corner. Um, something like a bowling ball right behind it. And here it almost looks like a food tray. Maybe a board game. But I'm leaning towards food tray, although I don't know why a tray of food would be in the back of the wagon. Now, regardless, beautiful, beautiful model. I do have three others of those, and ironically, they are also on the bottom of this case. I have a blue one with gray interior. I have this yellowish one with brown interior and cat hair in the window. And last, I have this black one with the gray bottom and brown interior. Again, I don't like that color combination, but it's it's very reminiscent and accurate of the time, so I like it for that reason. And with that, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you'll join me again soon. And in order to be able to do that, please like and subscribe. It will help me out tremendously to help bring you more current, more quality videos. And content. And with that, thank you for joining me again, and have a good night.